So as you can see, I've taken the liberty of uh, doing a quick pencil sketch of a pair of Wellington boots. <laughs> it's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Um, I thought, let's just, 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 just do something with water today. Um, so I'm going to go straight in to some ultramarine blue. I'm just going to put some water in my pot. I've got a little bit of my medium mix as well, which is available at www.clyfiveart.co.uk. There you go. And I'm going to go into some ultramarine blue. And a little bit of white. There you go. Ultramarine blue and white. And let's just get some blue on the canvas like this. There we go. What a wonderful way to paint. Just do that. Don't have any set ways. I got a few black marks on my on my canvas, which is a shame, but it doesn't matter. We'll we'll work around that. Let's just go down around. We're just gonna put some base coat in first. So I'm just gonna put some darker colour around you, like that. Because I think that worry is just actually going into a puddle because this child is splashing away as we do. Remember when we used to do that when we were kids? It's a fun way of spending some time. Don't see many children doing that these days. They're all on their iPads and stuff. <laughs> so just mix a couple of different colours together. Just the white and the blue like this. And just get some paint on our canvas. Let's just hide as much of this white as we possibly can to start with. I want to go quite dark up there so I'm going to mix a little bit of Prussian blue and some ultramarine blue together just to get a darker colour just up the top there like this. And then I'm just going to put a bit of white paint directly onto my brush. I'm just going to blend that in like that. I hope everybody's staying well and safe. This is a nice way to relax this painting. My goal has always always been to try and get people that have never painted before to paint because it's a wonderful hobby. And just continue to don't have any set pattern in your mind and just put the paint on as you think it looks nice because that's all we're going to do is just try and use your imagination you're the artist at the end of the day of your painting and that's the most important thing is to use your own abilities and skills when it comes to doing this type of thing. Don't forget, we're trying to paint water. Don't forget that. Get a bit more white down here. So there's going to be reflections of shadows. There's also going to be the reflection of the sky. It could be seeing a few little clouds and things popping up into the water. We don't know. Whatever, whatever's around us is what the, the water is going to adopt. To get a bit more ultramarine blue. I love ultramarine blue. I've just got that lovely blue. Lovely blue. Um, tint about it. Using the same type of principle as we would do if we were painting a landscape that we're trying to keep it slightly lighter up the top and darker down the bottom so it gives it that little bit of that little bit of depth there. Just 
blue and white or white and blue whatever you want to say <laughs> just mixing it on like that nice to paint different subjects it really is it's important that we we remember this being try not to stick to one genre really um, I think it's important that we try to mix things up a bit and paint different subjects and one of my nemesis is flowers actually I have to paint some flowers I think and show you how bad I am <laughs> But I don't mind because we can all learn by that, that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to get some red and some yellow. I'm going to start putting in just an underpainting. This is the first layer for the Wellington boots. Let me make it a little bit darker, I think. I want it to be more red than orange. Just trying to find the shape. I'm, I'm trying to give it a little bit of a a wonky a wonky edge because obviously the child is walking and pressing forward I want this welly slightly wider than that one because this one is that one's in front of this one so I want to try and give it that essence of maybe coming towards us and trying to build up the the heel as well the toe of this welly is in the water in my mind So we're just getting the, the block out stage in place. I don't know if you can hear the rain today, but it certainly is raining. And add a bit more yellow to the edge. I'm trying to bring this in down. nice actually it's quite soothing listening to the raindrops we haven't had rain in Wales for a few weeks now since we've been in this lockdown situation of the because of the COVID-19 situation and if anybody is dealing with um, anxiety I'll put out a, a link in the iCards there just just over there um, or a video that I did about that you might find it useful okay so I'm gonna put the other welly in place now and you just take your time and paint away that stress of everyday life in where you live I don't mind days like this actually, I don't mind the days, the wet days. It gives you a chance to reflect. It gives you a chance to relax. And with my normal day job I wouldn't be able to work much in the rain anyway, so that's something. into some yellow and this is just as I said just a blocking out stage I just added a touch of Prussian blue to that the 
that red then just to give it a little bit of a, a, a like a shadowy color which is what the mix I'm going to be using later on just to put some shadows in place so so far we've got that in place I'm just going to wash that brush it's the next stage now again um, I want to go into some Prussian blue and some white and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to try and paint some sort of denim and I want to separate that two different types of blue away from each other like that because this is his jeans or her jeans you decide if you're painting a girl or a boy This is jeans folding up over the Wellington boots there. Nice to be quiet sometimes and just paint. Okay, all I'm going to do is just dry that with a hairdryer. So let's have a little look at the um, at the water again now. Again, we go back into some ultramarine blue and white. And let's just get a few. darker bits, a little bit of ultramarine blue and Prussian blue, a bit of white. Let's get that darker colour. Like as if there's shadows in that water there like that. Let's just get that slightly darker then as we come forward. I want this to be quite a little sharp line there like that. And maybe just a few. Marks like that. Just thinking about shadows and where these shadows are going to be falling. Use your imagination when it comes to something like this, or an, a reference photograph or something you may have. Just think of shadows. Or 
Prussian blue. Let's get some white, ultramarine blue and white. Again, I want to put some highlights in, maybe a little bit whiter. So just using a couple of different mixes now. Just trying to catch a bit of light this making it look like as if it's water basically so I'm, I'm not painting flat like this I'm painting on an angle so we need to get that illusion of reflections in on a flat surface increasing a little bit of light up the top edge there I think that would be good going into a bit more white now so brightening that up even more maybe just a little bit there don't want to go too bright there A swirly pattern. Yeah. I'm gonna try and make it look as if it's maybe a little ripple in the water or something. There you go. A bit like that. I'm quite happy with that so far. So now I'm going to go back into the Prussian blue mix. And I want to just get a few shadows into this fold of paint here. again some to this side as well again picking up some white and now putting in some Highlights. Just 
trying to make it look as if it's maybe a few folds of material. We do the same this side. Dragging a little bit of white down like that. It'll make, make, it'll make sense for you in a second. Get some cardamom red and mix some Prussian blue to that and make it a dark red, make like a crimsony type of colour. We need to put some shadows. Wellington boot. Like that. Again, a bit of black. Just to, to do around the heel area where the, the sole of the shoe is. Uh, I could do the same on this one. shadow just underneath that top of the welly there like that. Just bring in a very thin broken down line. It just what this does it, it separates the welly. It makes it look like there's a weld mark on the back of that welly that you get. It's a broken line, which is good. I'm going to have something similar there. Like that. I'm now going to add a little bit of white. Oops, I need to add a little bit of white to this. This mix. More like a pinky type of colour. I want a bit of I want a bit of lightness. Like as if it's a bit of light catching down there like that. A bit on the front end. We're going to put some shadow into this boot now. Going back into some blue and white.
bit of blue and white. wash now just to go over make sure that's dry Prussian blue let's get a bit more shadow in there like that. there you go <laughs> Let's get a bit more pure white. Put a bit of this highlight here and there, just where a light could be catching. There you go. And I'm just going to leave it at that, I think, today. I'm just going to leave it at that today. I'm going to put my C5A on there as my little signature. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, give it a go. Um, I'll try and make the tracing available for you. Uh, don't forget to go to www.cli5art.co.uk and I'll make the tracing available there. I need to do a little bit more work for you, but as I said, these are only little idea paintings for you to have a go at. So please have a go. I'm sure you can do it better than me. And um, I shall see you in the studio next week.